Rachel here with Good PR. Today I wanted to do kind of a list of some indoor activities, especially now that it's cold outside. I mean, our real feel high today was 19. Um, so sometimes you don't want to go outside when it's 19 degrees. <laughs> so here are some things, especially large motor um, for younger kids that you can do with them to help kind of ease that cooped up cabin fever type feeling. Um, so if you have like those pop-up tents, like they fold and then they go Poof, and they pop up like that. If you have some of those, those are awesome to use inside. Tents can be anything. They can be a fort. They can be a cave. They can be whatever your child wants, cars, boats, anything. Um, so if you have those, awesome. If you don't, go ahead and make some, you know, grab your chairs, grab blankets. Um, it's very easy, very fun, and your kids will have a blast letting their imagination run wild. Um, don't underestimate the importance and power of balls. Um, and it, you don't have to be like hitting baseballs throughout the house. You can literally just like bouncy ball, um, roll it, make up songs with it. Um, we have one that we sing. We have like these giant uh, bouncy balls for her and we sing bounce, bounce, bounce. We're bouncing our red ball. Bounce, bounce, bounce. We'll bounce it all day long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bounce, bounce, bounce. We are bouncing our red ball. So maybe you don't have a red ball, but whatever color or, you know, like whatever style, um, make up a song, sing it, have fun with it. Um, there are so many games that you can play with balls and kids are very good at coming up with more. <laughs> um, so along that, the kind of tent line of thinking we also have those pop out tunnels that you can fold up and then they expand into big tunnels those are so fun my daughter will go back and forth through those all day and if you don't have tunnels use boxes if, if you happen to have any big enough boxes we're still in diapers so we have these big diaper boxes that you can literally just open and let them crawl through um, you could also make tunnels out of couch cushions um, chairs again and we also have a parachute so if you happen to have a parachute target sold them at summertime this year and i was like that we're getting that <laughs> um, so a parachute big blankets something something that you could drape to make a tunnel a parachute um you can use that bounce balls on them play the freeze dance game um, and shake it while it's time to dance and stop when it's time to freeze. Um, so many things that you can do with that, or you can use blankets. Um, lots of fun for that. We have a ball pit. I don't, I mean, like, I guess if you have a ton of little balls sitting around, you could create like a barrier and have your kids sit in that. Um, we have a bunch of, a bunch. Uh, we have like some push toys and a little bike that she got for her birthday. They're small so she can ride them around inside of our house. Um, so if you have things like that. And then one thing that's, I mean like it's there but it's not the first thing people think of. Bring your outside toys inside. So we have like a little tykes playground and if you have the space of course. Um, I know our last place we definitely wouldn't have. But we have her little tykes playground. I started taking it down in September um, because you never know when it's going to snow up here. <laughs> um, and I moved it to our basement so that she has some kind of a playground that she can play on. That's not always an option. Not everyone has a playground. Not everyone has a basement. Not everyone has some kind of space. Um, use your couch cushions. Use your chairs. It kind of goes back to these things that just sit around our house and let them climb. Um obviously you know keeping an eye on them of course because accidents happen kids fall um so just keeping an eye on them of course but feel free to bring your outside toys in even just having a different a toy in a place where it doesn't belong is so mind-bending to your child and it really creates a new space for them to become creative with it so those are just some ideas for hopefully some winter fun here. Um, I hope that you're able to take some of that and do with it what you will. We'll see you next time. Have a great night. Bye.